Leisure and hospitality industries saw some of the biggest gains in the report. And as KPI X5's Lynn Ramirez reports, there are plenty of signs of a rebound in the South Bay. Well, you can often tell a lot about what's happening with the local economy just by looking at the sidewalks, especially those in front of the convention center or hotels. And right now, those sidewalks are pretty full. The cute costumes and colorful people of the Crunchy Roll Expo have returned to San Jose after a more than two-year absence. It's definitely incredible being able to come back to conventions. I've certainly missed it with all the COVID and everything. For San Jose and the tens of thousands of people whose jobs depend on the leisure and hospitality industry, it's money in the bank. The event is as popular as ever, and that also means all our hotels citywide are selling out for these uh, convention goers who are here from all across the country. The travel industry was hit hard by the pandemic, but hotel pools and lobbies are filling up again. We're starting to see that growth and we're very encouraged to see what's happening in San Jose as far as business travel. And here in Santana Row, great leisure travel. Staffing levels are still down about 15% from pre-pandemic levels, but it's growing thanks to families like this. The Rutlands from New Mexico are having their first out-of-state vacation in years. They're visiting San Jose, Santa Cruz, and San Francisco. You know, being able to support all these local businesses and places that we, um, you know, got to know and enjoy, it's nice. Travelers are experiencing higher prices for rooms, food, and transportation, but it's a price it seems many are now willing to make together. Yeah, the bustling atmosphere is like my favorite part of this whole thing. <laughs> In San Jose, Len Ramirez, KPIX5.